Hey, BookTube, I thought I would do the book reviewer tag. Uh, this was created by Gemma at uh, Read a Book Gem. Uh, this is her first year anniversary on BookTube, and so she created this tag, which is a really awesome tag. Uh, definitely gets my juices going as someone who loves to talk about books and considers myself sort of a, a person who talks about books. Does that make me a book reviewer? Uh, probably not. But let's, let's, uh, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go into these questions about... Uh, all about book reviews and how we interact with other reviews. Uh, so for number one uh, in the kind of section of making reviews, uh, where do you post your book reviews outside of BookTube? Um, not so much anywhere anymore. Uh, previous to BookTube, I did do I did post uh, little potted reviews on Goodreads, uh, but I I sort of found that kind of uh, I I did not find much of a community on Goodreads. Um, I found it. I found it fairly. We're all in little separate little bubbles. It, it doesn't didn't really get any. I didn't really make any friends on there. Not that I'm particularly great at making friends, anyways. Uh, so it's maybe more of a criticism of me than it is of it. Um, but what I found was when I once I started getting on BookTube and making reviews here, uh, whatever urge I had on Goodreads. Now, now Goodreads is basically just a catalog system of, oh, this is, these are books I read from this point to this point And you know, that, that kind of, that kind of thing. Uh, number two, what is your star rating system? Uh, so my star rating on BookTube itself is I don't have one. I, I don't like giving ratings on on books. I like talking about books and examining them. And I think hopefully uh, if I've done my, if, if, if I've, I've communicated anything after I've read a book, you'll know if like I'm super hyped about it or I'm like, oh, there's some good parts, there's some bad parts, or I hated it with a fiery passion. And a book and star system, I, I find star, the star systems are strangely so subjective that uh, one person's five star book is another person's three star book. Um, and oftentimes I'm a, that, that, that would be three stars. I, I read like on Goodreads, I read a lot of people's five star reviews and like, yep, that's a three star book. <laughs> that was my, that was an okay, competent book. And they've given it five stars because they're thrilled. But, uh, it's, it's like, it's, you know, so I find that, uh, the best way for me to communicate that is just to have really long videos about, about individual books. And that, that, that tells you everything and, uh, probably isn't great for people who just want to quick, quick thing. Uh, convince me to read a favorite book of yours in more, no more than five words. Uh, read the book. I like it. Read the book. I like it. No, I failed. Okay. Uh, number four, uh, which book was the hardest to review and why? Um, currently, currently I'd say the hardest book for me to review uh, cause I haven't managed to review it yet, uh, in a full way is the mirror and the light, uh, because of, and that's the nature of how I read it. I read it during, uh, the COVID-19. There were many pauses. I've now let way much too much time elapse since I finished it to have, uh, that immediate visceral reaction. Um, yeah, this is the hardest book to review and why that's why. <laughs> Not that I've actually gotten a review out of it, and maybe I never will, which would make it very difficult. Um, number five, um, are there any books you won't review or give a star rating to out of principle? Uh, that might come back to the kind of books that I've put down and I just haven't, haven't, um, haven't come to conclusion. And after a certain point you go, well, if I haven't come to conclusion, I, maybe I can't, I can't actually give it a rating. I mean, I know this is a really good book, but there's also parts of this book that I think are, maybe it's could just get, it feels, it feels like it's an overlong book or it's a book where the, 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 the author has gotten overwhelmed by history. This is, this is the third concluding book in Hilary Mantel's Thomas Cromwell series. And I feel like the book, got trapped in its own kind of research and history there at the end, a little too much of a grind. Uh, whereas before I hadn't, I hadn't found that. Um, but that's, yeah. And I can't even say that definitively. So, um, <laughs> uh, number six, a book you really want to, a book you really want to read has terrible r reviews. Uh, do you still read it? Um, I maybe, maybe my, 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 my enthusiasm, like how quick I'm going to pick it up is diminished. Uh, it depends. It depends. Um, 
sometimes a book gets a lot of negative reviews, so many negative reviews you want to go look. Uh, and then that, that makes it more of a thing that makes it like, oh, I would have never even paid attention to this book if people hadn't got so upset about it. Uh, so, you know, it's one of these, um, you know, no, you know, no publicity is bad publicity, even if it's horrible, like this book is terrible. It's awful. It's like, well, I should take a look at it and see why it's so terrible and awful. Why all these people think that, um, oftentimes you start st studying, it becomes a book that's more interesting because of the reviews than it is the book itself. Um, where do you view book reviews outside of BookTube? Uh, and what is your favorite uh, preferred format? Uh, short, long, video, print, stuff like that. Um, outside of BookTube, uh, probably you know, written, written, written book reviews on the New York Times, um, uh, various kind of um, w websites, uh, The Guardian, things like that. Um, that is actually diminished again with, with booktube. Uh, but you know, I still, I still dip into those and there's some reviewers that like, Oh, I know that reviewer. So I will, I will kind of take a look and see what they have to say. Uh, number eight, at what point do you view reviews of a book that you're reading before, during, or after? Um, so for before I do it well before, so I'm sort of scoping the land landscape up because it takes me so long to get to a book that I'll re read review. I'll read a reviews of a book and go, Oh, that sounds interesting. Toss it on my pile so that by the time I actually get to the book, I only have a vague memory of what reviewers might've said, but at least I have a general idea. Like, okay, this sounds like it's at least a competently well-written book that might have some interesting stuff. And that by the time I get to it, I don't remember any of that. Just that, Oh, I obviously I picked that out for myself past past self picked that out for me. Um, for during that would be when it's a book is like really confusing me or really frustrating me, or I'm considering just putting it down. And one of my last hail Marys might be, okay, I'm going to go look at a review, reviews of this book and see what they saw in it and maybe what I'm missing or stuff like that. And then after, um, after, yeah, yeah. Um, oftentimes like, oh, like, you know, uh, I was like so-so on the book. So I'll look at the so-so reviews and then I'll look at the higher reviews and I'll look at the lower reviews just to kind of get a, a general feel. I always do that after I've actually made my review. Uh, uh, if I make a review uh, video, reaction video, whatever on this channel, I always make a point of looking at those reviews afterwards, just because I don't want that to influence uh, my rea my reaction to the book. Uh, I know Steve said like, you know, I have my own thoughts and uh, there's nothing will, would shake me from them and stuff like that. It's like, uh, I, I'm, I would get influenced. I would get influenced if uh, Steve said, Oh, this is a great book for this, 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 this reason. And you know, uh, it may be stuff that I, I, then I would start feel like, Oh, I'm just repeating what Steve said uh, to take an example or, uh, or I would, uh, I'm thinking of that because he just did a video on Venus and Adonis and I made sure I did my video on Venus and Adonis shake tube. Um, uh, I did my video before I went and looked at his just because I didn't want to, uh, get influ get, get influenced by him. I'm a weak, weak minded soul that way. Uh, so yes. Um, and yeah, you know, I do, I, you, you, it's like, oh, I hated this book. So you want to, you go look at, you look at the negative reviews. Oftentimes I have to say, especially like something like Goodreads where I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm looking at kind of the general overall, all scope of things. I'll, I'll sort of like, oh, okay. These are the positive reviews. These are the negative reviews. These are the middling reviews and where I kind of come in on them. Um, oftentimes the positive reviews are just like, everyone just like, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And they don't give concrete reasons where negative people have a tendency to really say, I didn't like this character for doing this particular thing. And it's like, oh yeah, I, me too. Or, oh, I didn't see that. It's like, you know, sometimes th that can be useful. Uh, the last section is stand out from the crowd, which is which books have you read with the lowest ratings on Goodreads that you loved? And number 10 is which books have you read with the highest rating on Goodreads that you hated? Um, and I don't really have any interesting questions and answers for those. So I guess I do not stand out from the crowd particularly much. So I will, I will leave it there. Uh, thank you, Gemma, for creating this, uh, tag. Uh, it was fun to do. Uh, it's always interesting to think about, um, reviewing. Uh, I, I, I like talking about, I, I review every single book that I read. Some of those videos go up here. Uh, but I always, uh, I always need to talk. Uh, I find like whatever reading I, I enjoy, it's usually books that I just love to, uh, think about and talk about afterwards. Uh, and so, um, I don't know if that, that's me reviewing my own mind as, as much as it is reviewing the book, I guess. But, uh, 
I find it a valuable and strangely addictive process, which is probably why I've uh, hung around, hung around on BookTube and in, and uh, inflicted myself on you people, you people, uh, for so long. Uh, so yeah, and also just to hear other people's thoughts on books too is just a joy. All right, more videos later.